so she says she's a British citizen and she's 76. Um, she used to live in France up until 2018 and then she moved to Italy. She didn't get a Brexit withdrawal agreement card in Italy. Um, and her son, who is a French citizen, is living in France. She's come to France and she wants to apply for a visa to stay in France. Her main question is really, does she need to leave and go back to the UK before starting this process? Um, and she's a little worried because she's come into France from Italy and hasn't had a passport stamped and she's not sure how that's going to work for going back to the UK. So the answer is yes, unfortunately, the only route for any non-EU uh, national, including, of course, um, um, Britain these days, at this stage, at this moment in time, is going to be that you have to apply for <clears throat> through the embassy or through the, the, the agent in which you hold your passport or you're a citizen of. So if you were living in America and you held a British passport, you could choose either ones, but either 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 country to apply. But in her case, she will have to travel back to the to the UK. The the fact that the passports weren't stamped probably not an issue um, because that as long as she can explain her situation and again it's very seldom picked up on so I don't want to say that you definitely won't be asked the question but it's not something that's really heavily um, looked upon um, but yeah uh, steps would be book a long stay uh, book an appointment for a long stay uh, renewable visitor visa go to the UK get your appointment done wait for a couple of weeks now we know it's about three or four weeks return to france get your visa validated and then you've got a 10 month wait till you can apply for your cut the séjour. and um, the fact that your 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 and son is a a french national or french citizen in this context doesn't really help unless you're dependent of him so financially or, or some or for but to uh, to not overcomplicate things, I think probably sometimes the easiest way is to go down that route a long stay, and then cut the sigil, and then in the future, if you want to become a citizen, of course, then you know you, there's a language test, there's all things things, and there's a period of time you need to spend in Trump. Okay, brilliant, thank and you. And you'll need you'll need a fabulous help for private medical cover to apply oh, yeah. to that long stay visa. Okay.